Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at this poll that came out the other day. It's for the GOP primary in Florida, and it shows Trump with a substantial lead over DeSantis. So this begs the question, is DeSantis done? What does he have to do to get back into it? Or is he actually in a decent position? So we've got this article from The Hill up here. It summarizes the poll, but let's actually just get into the poll itself. It's from Florida Atlantic University. It conducted by Main Street Research. So here's background about that polling firm. Not really familiar with them, but it does say they're from Canada. They have an impressive track record, decades of experience, yada yada. So down here, this poll was taken June 27th through July 1st. We've got a 933 sample size, adults 18 or older. The margin of error is 3.2%, 95% confidence level. This poll breaks the state down into seven different regions. Some of you might be more interested in that. So let's go through some of these questions. The first one is, in the most recent midterm election, which party did you vote for in the congressional elections? We've got 53% GOP, 40% Dem, the rest other or didn't vote. The actual results were about 58% Republican, 40% Democrat. So it's not way off, but a little bit low on the Republicans. So how about DeSantis' approval rating? This question asks it right here, and I don't really care for the colors on this poll at all, but the dark blue strongly approve is at 41%, another 13% somewhat approve, 34 strongly disapprove, 9% somewhat disapprove. So that's a 54% approval rating, 43% disapprove. We've got another 3% that don't know. Now recently we've heard DeSantis' approval rating has plummeted in Florida. I'm sure it would come down from where it was in the midterms. And then he has national ambitions. His home state might feel a little bit like they're on the back burner. So the approval rating has come down. But this poll right here actually shows it's not really that far down. It's still a majority support. There is sizable opposition. But just based on this, these are not at all terrible results for Ron DeSantis. The next question looks at Donald Trump's favorables. We've got 33% strongly favorable, 17 somewhat, 38% strongly unfavorable, 9% somewhat. That is a 50% approval rating, 47% disapprove, 3% don't know. So Trump a little bit worse than DeSantis, still a net positive though for Trump. Now here's the key question. If the election for president were held today and the candidates were Joe Biden and Donald Trump, which candidate would you support? So in this head-to-head -head matchup, we've got 49% Trump, 39% Biden, 10% other, 2% undecided. So in this head-to-head, -head, Trump has a 10-point advantage. That's a great sign for Trump and any Republican in Florida. It's outside the margin of error. There are 10% that say other. I'm sure a lot of those would break one way or the other, but even so, good sign for Trump. Now let's compare that to DeSantis going up against Biden. DeSantis is at 49, Biden is at 36. 11% other, 4 undecided. That's a 13% advantage for DeSantis over Biden. So in the head-to-head -head matchup, DeSantis does do a little bit better than Trump. It's not significant, but if you're DeSantis, and looking for some type of bragging rights, this is it right here. Now that's in the general election. What about the GOP primary? Well, here it is. If the GOP presidential primary were held today, which candidate would you vote for? This is just for registered Republican voters. Donald Trump leads at 50%. DeSantis is at 30%. Everybody else way down from there. So it's a 20 point lead for Trump. How about if you just isolate it to Trump or DeSantis? Then we've got 54% for Trump, 37 for DeSantis. That is a 17 point lead for Trump. 8% are undecided, but Trump, again, the clear winner here. So what does all this mean? Well, a lot of people say DeSantis is finished. He has not gained any momentum. He's sank a little bit. Yeah, that's not untrue, but at the same time, it's only July, and it's definitely a bad sign for DeSantis to not even come close to winning the primary in his home state, but Trump's home state is also Florida, and this kind of infighting I don't think is going to go well for DeSantis. Trump seems to always come out on top in these kinds of scenarios, and I do think Trump is highly favored to become the nominee, but I wouldn't just say DeSantis DeSantis has absolutely no chance no matter what. For DeSantis to be getting even 20% in the Republican primary in a crowded field, that's a great sign for DeSantis. Sure, it's not good enough right now, and maybe this is his high point, but take a look at all the other candidates in this race polling at 1, 2, 3%. They would kill to be anywhere near Ron DeSantis. Now, even though DeSantis started out with high expectations and he has a higher profile, he's going up against the former president, and he's still polling over 20% in many of these polls. So it's not where he wants to be, but it's the second best you can do. So I don't really think it's all that embarrassing. I don't think he should have ran in the first place because it seemed like Trump would end up walking all over him. That is kind of what's happening right now, but there's plenty of time left. And even if DeSantis drops out, which eventually I think he
he will. I don't think it was a total failure. Plus, I think once the primary ends, everybody's going to come together anyway to try to go after Biden. Right now, they have to all be against each other. And right now, you'd rather be Trump than DeSantis. That's easy. But maybe there's another Trump scandal. Maybe there's an arrest or a conviction. Maybe eventually something happens to where there's an opening for DeSantis. And if something like that does happen, he's clearly the backup choice for most GOP voters. And if he can't be number one, you'd want to be number two. And that's where DeSantis is. Now, there's a couple more questions we could take a look at in this poll. This says, do you think supporting a candidate other than Trump in the primary is disloyal? 68% say no. 19% say yes. 13% don't know. And I would never frame a question like this in terms of loyalty. I think anybody can vote for whoever they want. But in a technical sense, whoever you're not actively supporting does not have your loyalty. But this is a weird question. I interpret it more as, should your vote be beholden to a certain candidate? And in that respect, I definitely think not. And maybe that's how these other people were also interpreting it. And here's one more question in the ongoing dispute between DeSantis and Disney. Which side do you support more? 35% strongly support DeSantis. 12% somewhat support. 33% strongly support Disney. 10% somewhat support. 9% don't know or no opinion. So that's 47% support for DeSantis. 43% for Disney. Kind of an even split. Slight edge to DeSantis. Seems like this dispute is just going to be ongoing. Both sides are going to claim victory. And I'm sure they both also want to be seen as victims to get sympathy. It's going to be back and forth, but that's a look at where things stand according to this poll, and I'll leave it there for now, so let me know in the comments. Any thoughts on this poll? What do you think about the position of DeSantis? Who do you think is stronger in the general election? Any stopping Trump? What do you think is going to happen? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.